So this is, um, this is some great potential here, you're saying. Mark Risen Hopkins, you want to come in? Yeah. Mark Risen Hopkins is our resident expert in the Xbox, like my son, Alec, who plays Xbox. <laughs> is 16 years old. As does my um, son, sons. Um, yeah. They love it, right? It's, it's <laughs> That's passionate. an inside joke between so, me and Mark. So, so, uh, so Mark, wh what's the coverage been like? You know, you follow this very closely. I mean, are people getting this Xbox angle, like uh, so, like Happy Hank is saying? Well, see, uh, this is the problem. People don't identify Microsoft with Xbox. I mean, they pe when people think about the Xbox, they, they think they, it's cool. They, yeah, they think of it cool. And Microsoft, <laughs> so they clearly don't. <laughs> they clearly don't want to associate Microsoft, Microsoft, right? Microsoft with cool. Right. <laughs> but the other thing is, is that uh, the. A lot of people are late to the game. None of the pundits. A lot of the a lot of the users are getting the Skype, Microsoft, uh, Xbox angle, but very few people in the punditry world. No, no bloggers have really been writing about the it. The bloggers and press don't get it. Yeah, but and that's a, that's a virtue of Silicon Valley, which is a very Mac centric environment, right? And uh, you know that's also the the stigma attached to Microsoft and the punditry in the in the valley. You're like, eh, it can't be cool. It can't be. It can't work. Microsoft's going to find some way to mess this up. That, that's the, that's the general consensus amongst the punditry, but uh, I mean, because is that fair? I, I think there is a potential for Microsoft to screw this up because they they do have a track record of sometimes screwing up acquisitions and screwing up uh, strategy. But on the other hand, uh, I don't think that this acquisition would have done would near, have nearly the synergy with any of the other potential suitors that might be out there. Like a Google, for example. Uh, Google, like because Google has squandered their VoIP, uh, their VoIP acquisition, uh, and uh, in my opinion. They, they, they integrated their VoIP acquisition, uh, and I can't remember the name of the company they acquired, but it was one of the largest independent uh, open source VoIP projects out there on the web, lots of users. And uh, they basically shut it down about a month ago because they integrated the technology with Google Talk, which is useful, but that also cut off a large swath of users from uh, accessing it as a SIP service. Yeah, I mean, Google's acquisitions have been mixed, wouldn't you say? I yeah, mean, it's, it's been mixed, it's, right. It's, I mean, they've had some winners in there. I mean. You know, you take YouTube. I mean, is YouTube a success or not? I mean, it's sort of hard to say, right? Jury's still out, but from, right. from a they, financial standpoint, it's not been a success. Well, right? from a financial standpoint, they, it's it's just such a huge blob of big data. I mean, there's that there's that word again. It's such a huge blob of big data. It's it's a uh, it's a gargantuan effort to make that into a success. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why they're very toe tip, dr just dropping their toe into the water on uh, live video. They're not opening up the floodgates like a U Ustream or a Justin or a live stream to the to the general you know, populace, because as soon as they do that, they're going to have such a mountain of content, they're going to have the same problem they have with their on-demand content, which is no way to monetize all that content. Right. So, right. And it just ends up being a big cost structure for them. So back to Xbox and, mm -hmm. and, and Skype and Microsoft. So take us through what the play is there for Microsoft. Let's start with why did Microsoft buy Skype? Microsoft bought Skype because they uh, and I did some digging into this after we after we talked on air because I hadn't had a time to really dig into it as much as I'd like. They actually have some good enterprise uh, VoIP integration into, into SharePoint and you they know being the, Microsoft. Yes, Microsoft and and so uh, using a proven technology like Skype to kind of because everybody knows that you can use voice on a lot of Skype, on a lot of Microsoft products, but Skype is a known quantity, almost a billion users. I mean, we were, the, I think actually SiliconANGLE were one of the people to break that story last year whenever that number came out. And yeah, uh, they round up from 800 million. Yeah, 800 million, million users. To, it was a right track. There. And Microsoft will get them there. And, and oh, absolutely. That's absolutely. a big number. I mean, that's so a billion anything. You put those two big brands together, I mean, uh, Skype in America has a little bit of a stigma attached. It's not quite as business centric as a lot of people like, but you ask anybody, they've got a Skype handle, right? Yeah. You I can, mean, I mean, so, bottom line is we were right on the Skype story. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, people are slowly realizing that we are the best at tech coverage. Yeah. It's and like Chuck Collis said, yeah. we're, we're batting pretty well <laughs> with our predictions. Yeah. I mean, we're like 700 batting average on predictions. Um, Why do you think that is? Is it because of your location in Silicon Valley? I think it's because, you know, one, the team's fantastic. We know what we're talking about. We, have do, we get in the trenches, we get deep, and we, uh, we get all the angles. We want to be a reference point. We're not trying to compete with um, the high volume traffic websites, which is just putting out, you know, news links, and there's no analysis. So, you know, opinion, and my opinion, my view was always have good opinion, capital O, with analysis, and we got to keep on relationship with you guys, so we have a good mashup, and Mark knows from the beginning, is provide great content, and be accurate, be, speak yes. the truth. I think that model is, is, is interesting, right? The whole idea of starting out doing some research, and then 
and then collaborating with a, with a fast editorial team and then you know, bringing in things like theCUBE where you get such knowledge yeah, I mean, Michael, Michael Sean Wright was, was accurate. He said something about Silicon Angle. He's like, John, you're in Silicon Valley, okay? And you're on the ground. Other people are writing about it from their computers and across the country in Iowa and all that. So we, you know, we see things first, we hear things. I mean, you know, you, the whispers around, we're in the trenches, we're in the action. We're not speculating about the actions. You're in Boston, hotbed of innovation. It's traditionally has some great culture and tech. Some are saying, even Pat Gelsinger, that you know, IT innovation's on Silicon Valley, for sure, but the meat and potatoes is still in Boston, New York, East Coast. So between, you know, your, your, uh, your location, and between you and Boston and your team and Silicon Valley and our team, Great, we've got it all covered. So siliconangle.tv is where we're broadcasting now. Siliconangle.com is the uh, Silicon Angle you know, blog site, and uh, wikibon.org is the research site. And between those three locations, um, there's a lot of good information there. Uh, we're launching some new publications. Yeah. We, got some, we got some more commentary on here from the, uh, the Justin TV crowd, which by the way, we really like, like, uh, like the audience over there. Great tech crowd. I like this comment, again. This, Skype is huge in the gaming community, definitely true. Skype is huge in the tech community because it's just such a great product. It started out as a hacker product, but it really evolved and, and it's massively popular and successful. Um, Skype is clean and neat and easy to use. The only way they could ruin it is to make changes to it and make it harder to use. To Microsoft they got Skype, it? They got <laughs> Skype because of the name. I agree. Yeah. And the massive user base. I mean, the, Skype, um, People are loyal. I mean, they've used the product. It's, Skype's got a, it's got a great, great utility. It's got a great brand, and it's a verb, right? Skype me. Yeah, Skype. I mean, anytime that something becomes a verb, then it's you know it's got it's so got brand recognition. So, so micro, some are saying, and I kind of agree with this: if Microsoft f's with it too much, it's dead. It's over. Let Skype run. They're committing a separate division. I think Skype is the flagship. I would wrap a lot of cool stuff around it, like the gaming integration with Xbox. I think yeah, integration critical. is the key, right? Not, I mean, not, not, it's the Skype functionality is fine, right? My 16 year old I mean, kid is the perfect walking use case. He doesn't, he texts, he uses the phone. He's going he's gonna to use Skype as, to make phone calls when he needs to and use video messaging around it on the phone. It's totally the interface. So telephony is gone. This, this thing is phone, it's a computer. Yeah. 